run. Let's continue. So some of the exploits are, you see exploit windows local are for escalating our privileges, but uh, let's see what else we can grab from this system. Bypass UAC, we are already system authority. So these exploits are really important when you want to do privilege escalation. So we will see how they work. But for now, current user PS exec, some of the CVEs, which will help you to escalate the privileges. Let's continue. Again, some exploits for privilege escalation. So an important part of the post-exploitation process is privilege escalation. We could do, yeah, persistence on the system, or we could do persistence as a service, or we could have WMI persistence. We will get to these later on. For now, let's continue. File collector, get application list, get underscore application list. Let's see what else. Yeah, the only application that was extracted was 7Z. So not a really powerful module. File collector, get env, local subnets. So get underscore local subnets. You see it says this specific system has two interfaces, one 10, 10, 0, and the other one is this IP address right here. So this is really important, everyone. When you are in a especially red team operation and you detect another interface, chances are you're going to discover a new network, which is in most of the times an important network. So you should go and start the scan on this new subnet because you haven't seen it yet. There might be some important databases inside of it. There might be some vulnerables, domain controllers and stuff like that. So new network interfaces are a good news for red teamers. Run, let's continue. So we could gather the credentials of Firefox and others. This is for Linux. The multi, which is for every operating system. So networking, you could enum a Cisco device, Mikrotik, upload an executable, OS6 hash dump, so you could grab the hashes of a OS6 operating system, VNC passwords, Safari passwords, on Windows, escalate drop link, escalate get system, you see escalation modules, check VM, Avira password, bulletproof FTP password. So all these are, so domain hash dump. If this machine was joined the domain or active directory, we could do the hash dump with this module. And on credit store, let's run this to see what we have. Or what it will, yeah, zero credentials. In the credit store of Windows, it's like a vault or like a safe place to store the passwords inside Windows. So you see the name comes out, gather, before that was, yeah, you see escalate, capture. So we could do key lock. Let's see how key lock works, recording key locks. So if I come back to the Windows operating system right here, and let's see if we can grab the key logs. Let's continue to write something in Notepad, for example. This is the key logged strings or words that we typed. So as you see, I typed this. Let's see if it is recorded or not. How we can stop it with Control C. Shutting down key log recorder, please wait. The record is inside this directory or this file. So sudo cat key log from spool sv.exe. And we couldn't, yeah, capture any key logs. The reason is you have to migrate into the process of Explorer. So migrate dash H. So migrate will move your process from one process to the another or from one instance to the other. Migrate dash N explorer.exe. Get PID. PS2456. So let's see. 24. Let me search Explorer. Yeah, 2456. And we are Explorer because if I get the PID, I'm Explorer.exe. And we can do record again to see. Yeah. Key log record works or not. So 
we are inside the explorer.exe and its key logs will be recorded. And explorer.exe is the environment that you see right here. And all these notepad and CMD or anything that is running inside this GUI is a child of the explorer.exe process. So notepad, this is a text that I want to be recorded. So recorded. Keylogger, are you smart enough to get me? We can save it in desktop as temp. And that's it. Let's get back here. Control C. Sudo chat. This file. So you see key log from explorer.exe on this system and this user started on this date. Left window key, which is, yeah. The window key on my left side of the keyboard and then i typed notepad inside of it so you see key logs are a little messy you see notepad this is a text that i hold shift right and then pressed i so you see shift right or right shift and then i want to be recorded this is a text that i want to be recorded so maybe this is enter yeah cr is enter and then keylogger so it's on multiple lines are you smart enough to get me? And then I grab the shift key and then, yeah, the question mark. So the name of the file, I deleted something, as you see here. And then, yeah, I typed temp and I saved the file. Keylogger was exited at this state. So you see how spying operations or keylogging is happening on the system. And the attacker is able to see, for example, the passwords that you enter on your Gmail and stuff like that. So for example, let's run it again. And in here, imagine that the target is going to its browser. It is going to HTTPS mail.google.com. He or she doesn't know that you're watching. So the signing happens. Administrator at sign gmail.com for example is its email it doesn't allow us so temp at sign let's say temp gmail.com couldn't find okay let's say uh michael so let's run it again chances are your victim will be running some kind of browser and typing its password, for example, Facebook password, Instagram password, Gmail password, and stuff like that is hot. So you run your keylogger. In the red team operations uh, section, I will teach you ways to grab keylogs a lot more professional. But in here with Metasploit, this is all we have. And let's see if we can tail this. So tail, push F, and we need a sudo, put the password. So we will see whatever the user types as soon as they get into this file. So let's go to the browser. So this is the login of Gmail. And I want to type, let's say, helpdesk at sign gmail.com. It couldn't find it. Let's say a.michael at sign gmail. We have the username. This is not my username, but I just want to prove that key logging is working on, for example, Gmail. And we put a password secret, super secret, and do the login. This is a login failed. Anyways, let's come back to our attacker machine. And you see we have the username and password. So you see we typed help desk at sign Gmail. And then we typed a.michael. And this is backspace. So it says the username was deleted. A new username was entered. And then the password. So right shift is grabbed multiple times. And yeah. This is what I typed inside the password field. So you see Facebook, Instagram, Gmail, or any banking web application that is running on the browser is recordable by the attacker. So this is the reason that we should take security so seriously. And as you see, no antivirus and no web application security mechanism can detect that an attacker is recording your key logs. So key loggers are really important and also at the same time dangerous. So let's continue to see, yeah, 
what else exists as a post exploitation module so run let's clean yeah come here multi gather manage windows gather reverse lookup screen spy so let's see how this happens capturing screenshots with a delay of five seconds this is a really bad module because the attacker will be able to see what you're doing every five seconds and also our report is ready sorry for the interruption but yeah let's save it so in here i go to google.com and then i go to let's say yahoo.com and then udemy.com i close my gmail i come here and try to close this i search for flowers on Yahoo, I want to see what are the news. In here, this is Udemy. So we are doing some routine jobs and let's see what happened on the attacker side. Background, and then this. So loot. So you see the screenshots are located in here. Yeah, these are not, but this is the first image. Let's run, let's see. So let's run sudo tunar. Go to this address and you see the JPEG files are located here. So let's see them. This is the image viewer. So see this was where I got into the Windows 2008 and pictures are captured really fast because right here I just opened the tabs to enter to, for example, Udemy and stuff like that. But anyways, the screen captures are working and it is proof to you. So let's get back to the interpreter shell, run the post modules and get it done in here. So you see, this is a lot. You could, for example, if the target has an outlook, you can get the password or the emails. You can still dump the hashes, screen a spy, smart hash dump. So this was the module that I wanted to run. Let's see what are the outputs. So no specific output. Yeah. You need to be anti-authority system. So why am I? Set. Let's see. Use this module. Background. Use this module. Show the options. Set get system to through. Set session to one. So you can run post exploits like this. And it is working. it needed to attempt to get system privileges on the target in order to run correctly and completely so up to here it got system privileges and it is yeah moving forward to dumping the hashes so as the last step i want to go and launch mimikatz mimikatz is a tool for dumping the credentials that are cached inside the lsas.exe process. I know this was a little heavy, but let's search for lsas. So lsas.exe. So this is the file that we are looking for. This process is responsible for, yeah, caching the credentials of Windows and managing them. So Mimikatz just does some operations on this process and then is able to dump clear text passwords from it because they are cached in clear text format inside of this process. So let's load QV. So we can load multiple items inside the Metaperator Windows version. We have incognito, we have some LAN attacks, we can inject PE files, which are exe files. You can load Python and insert Python scripts inside of it. There's a lot. You can load PowerShell and write PowerShell modules. So Kiwi has, yeah, if you get help again, you see the Kiwi commands. And creds all is a command that you might run a lot in your pen test and also red team operations. So you see here, SSHD username on domain, which is, this is not a domain, this is a work group, has the password of this complexity. So if you wanted to crack the hash of this password, it would take a lot of time. The password of background is background. Again, the same credentials. So you see, QV is cool. It has other options. So you, you could, yeah, list the Kerberos tickets. You don't know about Kerberos for now, but Kerberos is an important authentication mechanism inside Windows operating system. 
So you see no tickets are available here. We could do DC sync, which is another important attack or operation inside computers with domain access. We will get into these on the red teaming part or the Active Directory in depth attacks. So for now, let's see if any other module is left to see. Yeah, WLAN land profiles, power dump. We have a screen unlock, screen spy, which we saw the webcam. So if the computer was connected to a webcam, you could see the webcam of the target and other modules. Virus scan bypass, upload an executable. We could also record sound, but my virtual machine on that Windows is not connected to the microphone, so no sound will be recorded. So that's it for this part. We will continue on the next one.